Susan Nichols here at the Tangerine House in beautiful Matlache, where the birds are singing and they're going to probably be singing all through the video. Uh, today we're going to do a pour paint swipe wave picture. It's a gorgeous painting. Uh, I think that you'll enjoy watching it and listening to the birds and hopefully you'll be able to do it soon. I have uh, several artist loft paints that I want to introduce you to and we'll step up to the lanai and get started. The artist loft metallic metallic white and I have mixed up a little of their black with their bright blue. It's a really dark color and I needed some contrast with the bright blue. And I have a bright, it's really a phthalo, a phthalo blue. I'm not sure how the dark and the phthalo is gonna work out, but I wanted a dark color and a, and a lighter color, and this is the brightest blue without going turquoise with Artist Loft that I could find. And then here, I have just a small amount of their metallic silver. Alrighty then, as usual, I made a huge mess with my uh, flooding my canvas, and I didn't wanna waste your time with my mess there. So I have these paints, Artist Loft, and each paint has a few drops of silicone in it. I'm just gonna pour this on the bottom. I don't wanna get it too thick because I've got a, another color to go on here. But I need enough to swipe not sure how I'm going to do this swipe yet. I've watched a lot of different methods and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to experiment. I have several palette knives here, some big ones and some little ones. Oh, I love that dark blue. That is so pretty. I think it's going to add a lot of depth, hopefully. See how this goes. I think that's good here on this color. I tend to pour heavy on the ends. And then the silver, this metallic silver, don't laugh, it's gonna get weird. It's kind of a, I'm just gonna put it around, maybe up in here. Oh, just a little guidance for uh, bringing the wave in to the middle. That's enough. I don't want to overdo it. I like how Crafty Jen used the paper towel. You just missed a paper towel with a missing bottle and drag it. You don't get it too wet, but you want to drag it through the dark paint. I did pull some off the canvas. Just let it adhere and bring it up and around. That's pretty. I don't get too far with that. Cut off. I did pull a lot of that paint off at the bottom. So I'm going to fill that back in. I want it to be dark there have to make me some more paint up, but we'll see. Ooh, I love that. We're already getting sales. That's why I love the Artist Loft paints. They are so beautiful and they make fantastic sales and they're ready mix paints. Let's see if I can pull. Let's see, I don't want to do that too much. Get some black in there. Very carefully, not too deep. 
bringing up some. Oops, I overdid that. Some color. Hmm. I love the darkness in that wave. That is so beautiful. So, huh, what to do next? I think I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, got some paper towel stuff on there. I think I'm going to go ahead and take this palette knife, put that dark back through there. I kind of like that. I kind of want to bring some of this blue up and take that out a little ways. Th these paints do spread quite a bit. Let's see the right angle to get on here. I'm holding my palette knife a little bit deep. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. I'm not ambidextrous, but I'm going to try this in an ambidextrous way. Bring that around. Starting to get too much, uh, oops, dripping. Starting to get too much, uh, too much gray in there for my liking. But I do love the colors. And I think we need, we need a little bit more of, I'm gonna put some more of this dark down here and pull it up. Put some dark up in there. Put some of this dark over here. Let me just pull it back a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, nice. Ooh, pretty. Don't want to do away with my really dark. Oops, I might have get some of that really dark on my Oops. Be nice if I could just do this in one sweep. Not real. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Oops. Uh, I have to take a little bit of that out. I don't know. I think I might leave that there and wait and see what it what it does with the. I'm gonna wait and see what that does. So, I am loving the shape of that wave and the darkness against the phthalo blue and the phthalo blue against the white. That is so beautiful. I do feel like I want to come back in here. I'll probably play with this until I mess it up. Then we'll just call it abstract blue or something like that. I don't know. I'm content with that and I'm eager to see what it's going to do when we torch it. This is a regular kitchen torch and bring some cells up. Uh -oh.
a little bit odd to me how the wave cracks right there. But I think I like this better with more solid and less wave action. Maybe a little wave action at the top. I know, don't trip out when I remove half the cells I've already got. But I do like the addition of the gray and I kind of wish I had a little more gray in here. But I do love it. I think it's beautiful. I'm going to do a couple of things here to get more of the effect I'm looking for. Let's see, which way to go? Mm. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go, I need to get it flat. And just go through that. paint is super thin and it just drips right off. Yeah. This is dark color. Well, this has been fun. Not sure what I'm doing here, but I'm enjoying myself. then I'm going to torch that a little bit now that I've gone back over it some not sure if this works right through here I'm going to use the dark blue one really 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 dark dark blue some of that white out. All right, torching again. It's going to bring the, it's always going to bring that white up when I torch it. Not sure I can change that with all that.
some bubbles that need to come out. Enough enough. I think I'm going to call that done. Okay. Now, I like the splatters coming off the wave. I think that looks very natural. I have some odd swipe marks. Waves are like that. Oh, that is just so cool. Okay, it looks really splashy. I'm just put fine tuning it now. Yeah, I want things to be a little bit different. Put some white on there. Just bring that down a little bit. I'm trying to not be afraid to dabble with it. And at the same time, I don't want to mess up a good thing. I think we all feel that way. I'm working on canvas. Oh wow, look at the cell book growth. Oh, that's so beautiful. Well, thank you, Crafty Jen. I think I used a lot of different people's color ideas, but I tried to sort of follow Crafty Jen's guidelines. I do advise you, if you're interested, please take a look at her channel. There's going to be a link down in the... Uh, comments or not comments but underneath here there'll be a link for crafty Jen. like i say i think she is a marvelous teacher it was a wonderful outcome i think it came out very well i'm quite pleased with it i'm going to bring you down 
and let you take a look at it up close. Okay, while I have some good light here, I'm going to pan the painting and let you see some of the cell activity up close. Might go in a little deeper. A little too fast where you can watch it. That is just beautiful to me. I love everything about the way this painting came out, except one minor detail. And I think if I had it to do over, I would probably come in a little tighter with the circular motion of the wave. I mean, waves do all sorts of crazy things, so whatever you get is, is gonna be just fine. Right here is where I might have tightened it up into more of a circle. But I do like the way it came out. I'm very pleased with it. I hope you enjoyed watching us put this together.